What's up people, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me. So today, we're gonna talk all about computers. And I wanna give you guys some really, really solid advice on how to buy the right computer to DJ with. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed anything different, but I just got a brand new shipment of my DJ Life t-shirts from my homie Rick Webb. Definitely check him out. I'm gonna put his channel up here. I have a link to the clothing below as well. Super comfy shirts. He sends them to me. I wear them. I like them. Check them out. But anyway, let's talk about computers. So this is something I get a lot of questions about. What Mac should I buy? What Windows should I buy? Is this overkill? Is this not enough? What should I do? What should I look for? Should I spend all this money? Should I save money? You know, all those questions. I'm gonna answer all them today because I get them a lot and I want to really make this non-biased as well. I'm not going to talk about like Mac versus Windows. I'm going to give you Windows advice just like I'd give Mac advice. If you want to see a Mac versus Windows video that's on the bias side, check out this video above and I'll totally just trash Windows for, you know, 15 minutes straight. <laughs> But that's not what I'm doing today, people. I am a Mac guy, I love Macs, but there's not gonna be any bias in this video. I'm gonna give you solid advice on what to look for on either computer, depending on you know what your personal preference is and all that. That way, at the end of the day, regardless of what you use, you're set up and you're gonna be smooth as butter DJing for all your people, okay? I also wanna point out that I made this video with every major DJ program in mind because it's kinda of cool that every major DJ program pretty much requires the same minimum specs. So if you follow my advice throughout this video, you're gonna have a computer that will work fantastic no matter what DJ program you use. I also have chapter markers listed below, so if we're going over something you already know, you wanna skip to the next part, if you wanna skip to something specific, then feel free to do so below. Or if you're a real MVP, you wanna watch the whole thing front to back for me and my algorithms, that's great. And if you're doing that, you might as well hit the like button below too. It'll really, really help me out. And if you're not subscribed, Hit the subscribe button, people. Anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing I wanna mention is desktop versus laptop, which one to get. If you're confused on this subject, I'm gonna clear it up for you right away. Get a laptop. It's way, way worth it to have a portable computer because the nature of our job is we have to be portable. We're DJing at different locations. So folding up a laptop is way easier than packing up a desktop. So you definitely wanna shoot for a laptop. If you already have a desktop, you're not trying to buy a laptop, you're just trying to learn how to DJ at your house for right now, then obviously, a desktop would work great. Just make sure you have the minimum specs we're about to talk about. Now, before we dive into laptops, I definitely got to mention iPads and tablets in general because the technology is there now. You can get apps that work fantastic with it. I highly recommend the iDJ app by Algorithm. It actually works really, really well. I use it for ceremonies and stuff. I have a smaller ceremony set up with an iPad and you know, a small speaker and all that. And I think it's great for that. It's also great for learning. If you're just starting out and you happen to have a tablet, you know, an iPad or something similar, and you don't own a computer, you don't really have to buy a computer. You could start out with that tablet. There's plenty of beginner controllers out there that'll work with the tablet and you can just rock and totally learn how to DJ that way. So don't feel the need to buy a laptop yet because the technology is that good with iPads and tablets. But I do recommend in the long run, if you're trying to make this a career, you're definitely gonna wanna buy a laptop eventually because you'll need a laptop computer to work with professional hardware and software. All right, so now let's talk about specs and what they mean. I'm gonna give you a brief definition of all of them in my little layman's terms and hopefully it helps you know kind of put it into perspective for you if you're new with computers you're not sure how computers work the first thing is operating system this is the software that runs your entire computer and it's the main difference between Macs and Windows because you have either Windows software or the Mac OS software now when it comes to the softwares there's certain versions you need to have depending if you're using a Windows or a Mac to make sure all your programs run correctly when it comes to Windows it's pretty easy you got to have Windows 10 and they always recommend you have have it updated to the latest service pack. So make sure everything's updated on your end, but as long as you're running Windows 10, which is a 64-bit software, I don't know why I mentioned that, because it just, they're all 64-bit now, so don't worry about that. But regardless, just make sure you have Windows 10 and you'll be good to go. When it comes to Mac OS, it gets a little tricky because you wanna have the last big three, right? You wanna have 10.13, 10.14, or 10.15. Or to use their nicknames, Hi Sierra, Mojave, or Catalina. You do not want to have 10.16 or Big Sur. Big Sur is the newest operating system that Mac just dropped and is not yet supported by any of the DJ programs. So wait to upgrade. And if you're looking to buy a computer, definitely make sure it doesn't come with Big Sur before you buy it. Anything older than that, you definitely wanna to upgrade to the newer one to use the latest version of Serato or Tractor or whatever program you're using. And that's something that can easily be done by just Googling it. 
you'll see it. The next thing I wanna talk about is processor or your CPU. This is your computer's brains. This processes everything that your computer does and is super, super important. And across all kinds of computers, across all kinds of software, it is the same, this is what you need. You ready? You need to have an i5, an i7, or an i9. And that's it. Now the reason why you need these particular processors is kind of above my head, it's pretty complicated, but I do know that there's some type of architecture and like the where the chipsets are and how they work together or something. You have to program the program to understand that. Like when you write a program, like you write a DJ program, like Virtual DJ or Serato or whatever, it's based on what type of chipset it's about to be used on, if that makes sense. Like I don't know the details, don't ask me, but it really is like it, it's written around the hardware. So if you don't use an i5, an i7, or i9, it won't work. So if you happen to have a computer with an AMD processor, any AMD processor, you're screwed, it won't work on there. You need an Intel i5, i7, or i9. The same thing goes for the newer Macs that they just came out with the M1 processor, which seems super cool, but it is not written for that processor. It's brand new, it just came out. So it will not work with any DJ program yet. So wait to buy that at least a few months. Next thing I wanna talk about is memory. And there's three different kinds of memory in your computer. You got RAM, you got your hard drive, and you have your graphics memory, right? Or your GRAM or VRAM, video RAM. I think it's VRAM, yeah. So memory stores stuff. Just like it does in your noggin, it stores it on the computer. Your hard drive is permanent storage. Think of it like an IG post, right? Right? Your IG post, you post on your Instagram, it's there forever until you delete it, right? RAM, on the other hand, is like an Instagram story. It's there for a little while, then it deletes itself. It's just a temporary thing. And the same thing kind of goes for video RAM because it's there temporary, but it's really just video files, right? So it just handles video temporarily while you're using stuff, and then it disappears once you don't need it anymore or once you restart your computer. When it comes to your hard drive, how much storage you need really depends on what you're trying to put on there. The program itself, depending what program you're using, only takes takes between one gig and five gigs of hard drive space. That's the available space you need to install the program and run it, which is pretty easy. Every hard drive is gonna have that. But what you need beyond that really is based on your musical library. Are you trying to keep a large library on your computer on that hard drive? Are you doing an external hard drive, right? So you're not gonna use your internal hard drive at all? Or are you streaming your music and you're keeping minimal music on your hard drive because everything's just gonna be streamed online? Like, what are you doing as far as music? That will determine how big of a hard drive you wanna get. Me personally, I have a one terabyte hard drive on my MacBook and it's enough to store all my music files on there because I got about 20 something thousand music files. And then I can also stream music live, which keeps me updated and you know, gives me another avenue of like where to pull songs from and whatnot. So the one terabyte for me worked out perfect. You might only need a 256 gig. Maybe you have like a couple thousand songs, not a lot, and you're streaming the rest. Or maybe you're streaming everything, you know what I mean? You only need maybe 128. It just depends on what you're doing. So definitely get the appropriate hard drive that would work for you. Now your RAM is very, very important because it directly affects your performance. Like I said with the Instagram stories, it stays there for a little bit and goes away. It's kind of like short-term memory. So when your computer is processing things, it stores things in the RAM so it can quickly get it, like instantaneously. So your computer uses it for certain files it wants to access right away to make things quicker. You know, loading up programs, doing things within the program. Pretty much anything that's done with a click of a mouse is using the RAM to do that, right? Because because it's just instantly available. Now when it comes to all the DJ programs, they all recommend to have at least four gigs of RAM. But if I can give you my honest opinion, I say double it. Always, always double it. Have at least eight gigs. I feel like when the software engineers that write these programs like come up with the minimum specs, they always do it with a computer that's perfectly optimized for the program. You know, nothing running in the background. There's no fluff. There's no other programs on the computer. It's just running this one program. And it's, you know, like I just feel like it's always a perfect condition. So if you just stick to the minimum, it's still gonna lag. It's still gonna run like shit. So I always say double it. And the good news is an eight gig RAM computer or even a 16 gig RAM computer, if you wanna get crazy are pretty affordable. I mean, it's really the standard out there now. So it's not hard to come across this. It's not a big upgrade fee to get eight gigs. That should be the standard. Any computer you buy right now is pretty much gonna have eight gigs. And the 16 gigs might be a little upgrade fee, but maybe be worth it depending on what you're doing. Now, if you're DJing with video, I highly recommend you do at least 16 gigs of RAM. Eight gigs will run virtual, Serato, Rekordbox, flawlessly. You won't have a problem at all until you get into video files. That's when I highly recommend going to a 16 gig computer. Now, speaking of video, 
the third memory component we were just talking about has a lot to do with video because that's the video memory, right? So that's how your video can be smooth as butter when you're mixing different video files, you're doing anything with video, you know, it's gonna store all that temporary files for videos to make things run smoother in the video memory. Now Serato and the rest of the programs all recommend at least one gig of video memory if you're doing video files when you're DJing, if you're a VDJ, but I think the same rule should apply for this, just double it. Do a minimum of a two gig video card on your computer that way you know you're good to go no matter what you won't have to worry and everything will be smooth as butter so as an overview when buying a computer make sure it has the i5 i7 or i9 processor at least 8 gigs of ram at least a 2 gig video card if you're mixing video and your hard drive should be as big as you need it to be depending if you're storing files on it or not now if you're in between getting a big internal hard drive versus getting just a big external hard drive for all your music i made a video on this as well, explaining the differences, how to do it each way, and what I recommend at the end of the day. So definitely check that out, but right now, I wanna give you guys some solid buying recommendations, right? So we know the minimum specs we need, everything, what to look for and whatnot. I'm gonna dive a little deeper and, you know, really show you some places to get some really good deals on computers that would work great for you. So first, let's talk about getting a Windows computer to DJ with. If you're getting a Windows computer, I highly recommend going new off the bat. Windows computers are way more affordable than Mac, and it makes, a lot of sense just to go new because of it. Yes, they make refurbished Windows computers and there's different deals and all that, but I honestly just look for the best reviews, look for the best possible computer that you can get for the buck and then make the move there. You can get a solid Windows computer for 600, 700, 800 dollar range brand new, ready to go out the box. On the flip side, if you're looking to buy a Mac, it gets a little more tricky on which ones to buy, but I'm gonna explain it all to you. Now, when it comes to specs, any MacBook Pro from 2014 to today will work. The minimum specs are always at least eight gigs of RAM, the right processor, everything, you are 100% good to go. The computer I used to DJ for years and years and years until I recently bought my new one was a base model, early 2015, 13 inch Mac. It had the base i5 processor on it, it had eight gigs of RAM, 128 gig hard drive. It was just base, 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 base. I bought it for, I think, $1,250, like brand new from Mac, like years and years ago in 2015. And it was the best computer ever for five years straight. It never did me wrong ever. And it was fantastic. And it was the cheapest MacBook Pro that you could possibly buy from Apple at the time of buying it. So you really can't go wrong with any MacBook Pro. As long as it's 2014 and up, that's a retina display. They came out with a retina display in 2014. I think that makes a huge difference nowadays. It's like the standard standard with most programs and obviously Serato Virtual DJ, they all have like the high res display now. So highly recommend the high res display. So if you're looking at a used Mac, any MacBook Pro from 2014 on that has the Retina display will work great for you. When it comes to MacBook Airs, just check the specs because some older MacBook Airs might only have two gigs of RAM on it. They're just made like a little, you know, weaker <laughs> or whatever. So definitely check the specs. Make sure you have the eight gigs of RAM. Make sure you have the correct processor, right? It's gotta have an i5 i7 or i9 you don't want the i3 which could be on the macbook air and just make sure it has enough storage for you and all that good stuff if all that lines up then you should be good to go the more beefed up macbook airs will have the right specs but the base models will not so definitely make sure the specs are right and a lot of times you'll find that like a beefed up macbook air is going to cost similar to like a macbook pro so you might as well go pro now if you're buying a new mac you just have to avoid the m1 processor it just came out and it's available on the 13 inch macbook pro and it's also available on the MacBook Air. Now, the unfortunate part about Mac bringing out an M1 processor and all that is they kind of eliminated the base model Mac with an Intel. So the base model Mac I used forever, you know, it was 1200 bucks and it was a 13 inch base model i5 and all that. That no longer exists because now it comes with the M1 processor and you won't be able to use it. So buying a Mac, if you want a brand new Mac off their website, it's gonna cost a minimum of $1,800, unfortunately. So it's gonna be kind of expensive. You're not gonna be able to get the $1,200 one. Now, don't get me wrong, the $1,800 one or the $2,000 one that I bought that I personally use, dream computer, the most perfect computer ever. If you have the means, I highly recommend spend it. The only difference between the two is like the size of the hard drive and whatnot. So get the right hard drive for you, but I highly recommend it. It is my dream computer to DJ with. I love it, love it, love it. But if you are working with a budget, here's some really good recommendations for you. First thing is, is Mac has refurbished computers right on their website. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out and they constantly update it with computers they refurbished and you can save hundreds of dollars on these computers that 
aren't that old at all and they're refurbished by Mac so you know it's super legit you know these aren't going to be you know trash computers they're going to be in great shape when you get them they're going to be perfect working order and they're going to come with a warranty as of now when I'm making this video I'm seeing computers as low as a thousand dollars on this website that would work great for any DJ program there's also other websites that have refurbished Macs like B&H Photo they're out of New York I love these guys they have a great business they have a great shop if you ever been to it in New York City where like they have all their products on display and whatnot like a brick and mortar place but they also have a super busy website they ship fast as shit and they are an authorized Mac dealer so they have legit refurbished Macs on their website a lot of their Macs are usually just a year old so it's not going to be like too old of Macs it's going to be about like a year or six months old but you'll get a solid discount on them and they're barely used at all they're literally just they're brand new computers warranty everything the same as getting it off apple.com and the last way to pick up a Mac is just off Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace or the Mercari app or whatever you're using to buy things, sell things and whatnot. Everybody's selling Macs on there. Be careful, make sure you're buying a good one, make sure it's not a piece of shit and all that. But if you happen to know someone who's selling their Mac, you know what it's been through, you know you know th th that you can trust them or whatever, then of course, like definitely get something off of somebody. You'll get a great deal. There's videos online and stuff that you can watch on how to wipe it and make it brand new for you and make sure it's ready to go and you can just install your DJ program fresh and you know be ready and all that so definitely consider buying it used from a person too just obviously be careful you know you don't want to you don't want to get ripped off either so buy off people you know or you know just just do, do your research beforehand well that's it people i hope this video was useful for you happy shopping when you're looking for a computer for this new year and whatnot if you guys have any questions or whatever put in the comments i'll be happy to answer you email me at weddingdjtips at gmail.com i can answer you over there too if you have any specific questions i'm always here to help people thank you for watching thank you for subscribing thank you for being here i'll see you guys in the next video